To say you gotta know somebody Or know somebody To get somewhere these days To say you know that's alright Yeah, that's alright So we find a deal, but we're a little nervous about it. We're going to come to you and to Larry. You're going to look at the deal, and you might help us partner with it, right? Will you be a partner? For a wholesale deal? deal like that, you yeah. don't need me to be a partner because you don't need to raise any money. I'll just help you. I'm your new best buddy, Harry. You know that. Well, I do know that. Who helped me with the VA assumption? You I did. did. <laughs> <laughs> look, if, when, when Larry and I say that we will partner with our students. It's more for deals where you're physically buying the deal. You don't need to partner with anybody to do a wholesale deal. Uh, I might be able to find a buyer for you. Uh, you get, I'll come and help you put a wholesale deal under contract. It's a piece of cake. I'll sit down with you and just show you the contract and go to the website. You have access to the website, right? Go to the wholesaling section and download the wholesaling contract and read it. It's a piece of cake. It's a piece of cake. There's nothing to it. It's really, it, I tell people it's a two-page contract, but the whole first page is the name of the buyer, the name of the seller, the address of the house, the tax ID number, the price, and the date. And page two is, uh, you know, signatures. There's nothing to it. Um, when you first, like I'm just starting out myself, but I haven't done any deals yet. But I'll probably be going through a realtor to find houses is that is that a good way to do it i mean if that's uh the situation that you have that you can work with it's not impossible to do deals through a real estate agent but the very nature of real estate agents is that the houses that they deal in are listed on the mls they are already public knowledge for the world to see technically or or Personally, it's very difficult to find a deal that you can wholesale off the MLS because most agents are going to run comps and are going to list the house for approximately what it's worth. You need to find deals that nobody knows about. That's the trick. That's why you got to do your own marketing. You want people to call you directly, and you're the only guy. Imagine if you're the only guy who knows that this house is potentially for sale. Now it's just a question of, can you make it all happen? Can you put it together, or are you going to screw it up? Welcome to the world of real estate investing. The moment you get that phone call, I immediately run some comps and run out to the house to see it. And that moment where you're sitting with somebody in their living room or at their kitchen table having a beer with them or a cup of tea or whatever it is, that's the moment of truth there. That's where you have to think on your feet. You're looking at this house. You're trying to figure out what the repairs are. You're trying to figure out how to put this deal together. And the only way you can learn that is by doing it. Because you can't go to Harvard to learn how to buy houses wholesale and what to say from the kitchen table. We teach this here all the time. And that's why I think we should talk about wholesale deals more often than not. The best houses, so ask yourself this, why would a seller call an I buy houses guy as opposed to an agent? If they've got a beautiful house that people would love and it's fixed up and it's really nice, they're probably never calling you, all right? You're not even going to hear. You get calls from people for different kinds of reasons. Houses that are completely shredded and messed up beyond belief. Those are the best kind of houses because you can... You have a lot of negotiating power. Because you're going to be like, look, not only do I have to buy this house, it's going to take me freaking five months to fix this house and another 80 grand, right? And uh, so you can get the house for a much cheaper price, all right? A lot of people come to me with houses that are completely messed up. A lot of people come to me because they have a hoarder syndrome or they're just plain embarrassed by their house and they don't want a bunch of strangers marching through their house. So one of the first things I tell them You've got to realize you're dealing with some sensitive people here. They don't even know if they want to let you look at the house. So I always tell somebody, I say, listen, I'm going to come to your house. I'm going to do a 10-minute walk through your house, and then we're going to sit at the table, and we're going to talk about a deal. And that's exactly what I do. I get to the house. I put my bag down. 
walk around the house, and then I go, okay, where can we sit? Let's go sit at your kitchen table and talk. 